came here back to India to set up my business in the financial services space, I always heard that there are only two religions in India, no? cricket and Bollywood. I don't have the right word, but uh, IPL is humongous for Indian cricket. It is one of the best leagues in the world. Uh, IPL has, uh, you know, over a period of time, it has become one of the most popular leagues, uh, or I think it's one of the top 10 leagues in the world. Well, in, in, in India, the culture is such that when a son is born in a family, and e e even to this day, the parents either want him to be a, a cricketer, an, a test cricketer, or a Bollywood star. We talk about the stories of these players and the fact that you can come from nothing and succeed, and the IPL has given that opportunity for so many more players to come from nothing and succeed. The IPL for me means Again, probably opportunity. Um, you know, you're never going to get the opportunities that the IPL presents um, in any other part of cricket in the world. We are the envy of the world. The IPL is the envy of the world. Any corner you turn in India, there is a, a cricket match happening in Mumbai to just go down to the Maidans and sort of to just try and walk through and, and sort of watch all the games happening and you sort of like, well, where's the boundary for that game? And it's like, well, there isn't any, like, they just make it up and say that's a four or a six or, you know, you've got one guy stood facing the wrong way and say, oh no, he's playing in that game over there, he's just in a different position. In India, you know, I feel like if I wanted to have a net, I could probably just walk down to yeah, somewhere and, and someone was like, yeah, come here and I'll bowl and, and you, can, you can join in, which is fantastic. You know, a great bus journey, whether you're going you know, to the airport to fly somewhere or you're going through a cricket match or, or whatever, just to look out the window and, and see all the games of cricket that are going on, which are um, played on all the, the gym corners and, and street corners. Growing up as a kid myself and taking to cricket, perhaps first point is just the ease of playing it. You know, you didn't need too much equipment. You, you just needed a, a homemade bat. You know, you could pick up a broken bat and then there were people who would, you know, use the gutting as they called it and then prepared it and you could play it with a tennis ball. It never broke. And why cricket is probably so popular is because of the aspects of offense and defense in the game. So if you see in cricket, particularly T20, Runs are being scored, boundaries are being hit, sixes are being hit, wickets are being taken, run outs, fielding. So there's both elements of it that are there and in, in great volume. Here I think the entertainment factor that comes with the combination of that offensive defense probably is what it is. But I think that the, the real reason could be just the ease of playing it, the skills that were needed to play and, and any kid could develop that skill without too much of whatever going to the gym and doing these things and that thing and and the, and the equipment itself you know? so that has just grown even as a child i mean i had access to the game you just need a bat and ball and then uh, you will find there are so many people playing cricket in, even in the streets in the parks uh, so the access to the game is uh, uh, easy and uh, there are so many ro uh, role models which we have uh, this game has been popular for so many years now Sort of passion and, and love for cricket in India is, is unrivaled. It's quite amazing to go as a um, an overseas player and see the the sort of level of the Indian players. You know that when those guys, when you share a, a hotel or a dressing room with someone like a Rohit Sharma or someone when I was at Mumbai Indians, and he's like, oh, this guy is like, i really really idolised by by the uh, by the public, and it's quite. Um, fascinating to see that sort of relationship and he's just a normal guy and is a cricketer and the noise and, and the um, intensity that's created within the ground is something I've, I've never experienced elsewhere. And obviously when you're playing in the IPL and you're doing well for your team, all that noise and support is for you and that, that's an incredibly special feeling. Can you picture a Maidan, which is a big ground, a huge ground, with like a, almost a quarter of a mile radius you know? and on a weekend, or a Saturday or Sunday, there must be at least 500 little cricket matches going on. Every part, you know, and we have to duck for cover every time, you know, look out, this and that, because the pitches, we just played on any, any surface. That was the keenness, that is the keenness of cricket in India. 
but since the independence in 47, cricket has flourished, cricket has continued. I think until you come to India, whatever you hear about the passion, you, you, can't, you can't see it or feel it. Um, and so, you know, the moment you get off the, the plane, the moment you're driving through, you're seeing cricket in the streets. I personally am part of a cricket you know, team here in, in Mumbai and we play on Oval Midan, we play on Shivaji Park. Our pitches are crossing with other kids playing and it's just madness but, but amazing. And so you see that every, every sort of person, any echelon of life is playing cricket, is loving cricket and that, that energy is there like you've never seen anywhere else in the world. So I think you're immersed from minute one, that's for sure. See, IPL and KKR and other franchises, everything was new to everybody when you watched it watched franchises operating, everybody was cobbling people together, teams together, trying to figure out how you put something together. You know? In fact, my first, one of my first conversations with SRK and J and all were, I said, what are you trying to create? And frankly, are you trying to over-engineer by bringing somebody like me? Because I've built very large businesses, I've been part of multinationals. Well, IPL, I would say, is one of the uh, best leagues in the world and uh, it has produced many cricketers uh, for the Indian team. Uh, if we have good fast bowlers now in the Indian team, that's because of the IPL. Uh, if we have very good bench strength in the Indian cricket team, th the reason behind that is IPL. And uh, over a period of time, it has given employment to so many uh, people, uh, uh, not just in India, but uh, throughout the world, because we get best of coaches in IPL, in all the franchisee. Uh, uh, the exposure to the players, uh, I think uh, my first exposure in the IPL was in 2008, when I was a young kid, and I, had, uh, I was sharing the dressing room with uh, someone like Ricky Ponting, uh, Brendan Macklem. So all of them, I. I I saw the way they, they used to prepare uh, and, and it, it helped me in my cricketing career. So there are many uh, foreign players who has uh, uh, been part of the IPL and they have learned so many things from IPL. So yeah, it has uh, done wonders for, for this game. Yeah, I think for, for being in England, the sort of magnitude of the IPL you can explain sort of against the Premier, Premier League football. Premier League is a, is a global product obviously and here in England it's, you know, I guess football is the only thing that you could compare to the passion that people have for cricket in India. So, yeah, I just think the IPL for me means, again, probably opportunity. Um, you know, you're never going to get the opportunities that the IPL presents um, in any other part of cricket in the world. Guys that I'd sit and watch on, on television and, and idolise, you know, getting to rub shoulders with them, and I, I can't see any other sort of situations where that would, would happen. And I think as well, you know, the, the match-ups that you get. Um, you know, where else could Virat Kohli and, and A.B. de Villiers play on the same team and, and be batting against Dale Steyn or something like that? All these social occasions as well where you sort of sit around the bar. It's probably my favourite thing about cricket is sitting and listening to stories um, of guys, whether it be 20 years ago or a game that you played in against someone and hearing their side of the story. So, um, and hearing about how people practice, what how their technique works for them, maybe something I can take from that. So it's a real honeypot of, of knowledge. IPL does bring everyone together uh, and uh, you need a little bit of glamour in the game. Uh, the players are still focused on what they need to do. Uh, owners are very passionate about the game. So there are more, many more people who are getting involved in this game, which is a, a big positive for Indian cricket. It is not possible without the uh, foreign players and the coaches so it's a collective effort and credit should go to everyone of course i would say ipl is the biggest biggest platform for young players to go and learn from the legends and uh, yeah to ex experience their experience and get to know about themselves and get to know about cricket more and if you of course if you talk the person which which have been which have been put there 20 years in international cricket they can give you really really nice advice and and i have learned so much in last 3 years which i i played for rajasthan royals and i used to talk a lot with jos bhai and uh, ben stokes and uh, Sangha sir and uh, of course uh, our Indian stars Virat Bhaiya and Rohit Bhaiya and Sanju Bhai and um, the legend Mahendra Singh Dhoni sir and yeah it was incredible to go and talk to them and share their experience with me and which helps me to improve my cricket 
and yeah means it was it was uh, really nice for me to go and talk to these international players thanks to IPL that as a young kid as a young player we can go and we can openly talk to them and ask uh, our doubts and keep keep ourselves you know uh, means we can just go and discuss and keep keep ourselves improving every day the IPL has given that opportunity for so many more players to come from nothing and succeed and the great thing about cricket, yes, there's, there's actually a lot of expense in the batting side, but that's why you actually see so many more bowlers coming through and you see this range of fast bowlers like Kuldeep Sen, like Umran Malik, who actually are just so raw and have developed on the, on the streets, they've developed in you know, small clubs around the country and they've just got that quality um, and that, that drive. They're told not to play, they're told not to compete, but that's their absolute passion. Playing in the IPL and playing for India is, is their goal and, and it brings so much pride to their family when they achieve it. Look, I think what the BCCI did so well at the start of the competition was they combined high quality cricket with entertainment and they attracted sort of everyone in the Indian, in Indian society to watch the game. I think over the years, you know, as, as sort of digitizations progressed, the ability to engage across social channels, to engage across different formats I think is is how you're bringing in the sort of youth of today into it. No player's ever bigger than the franchise, that's that's number one and you hear that across sports but you know, for us that's that's a very firm view. Um, right now we've got more Indian superstars than we've ever had um, with Yuzi, with Ash, with Sanju, with Prasid, you know even Dev and others who played, um, played for the national team but it's a team. But actually hearing from someone like a Tejas Baroka, who didn't play a game, and I was talking to him about, you know, what, what can we do better, what did you enjoy? And he said the one thing he enjoyed was that everyone is treated equally. Whether you're playing or not, everyone is an equal. And he said he's spoken to players in different franchises and, and, and they didn't have the same experience. Cricket being hugely, hugely popular and Bollywood being hugely popular, all the actors, actresses used to come, playback singers, scholars, sit in the, in the dressing room enclosure, watching matches as our guests. So cricket and Bollywood always had that very, very close connection. And Lalit Modi, the chairman of IPL, the, who founded the IPL really, thought that as a brilliant idea to marry Bollywood and cricket together and form the IPL. The franchises were sold to people like Shah Rukh Khan, Juhi Chawla, Preeti Zinta and all that. And they're all flourishing now. All the franchises are flourishing immensely, thanks to IPL. We have become the envy of the world. The IPL is a huge, 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 huge tournament now. IPL has raised its standards and you know, it's gone through the, through the roof. IPL happens, everybody comes together. Even now, to a large extent, a lot of that happens. People come together at that time, put the event together after it's done. It's like making a movie, you know, because I run that side of the business also, I wear that hat. I see that you know, when you create, when we make a film, you cobble a team together, you cast, and then you have a script, and you have directors, and you start shooting, and after it's done, you pack up and leave. And very rarely does the same team come together again for another project. You know? My vision was to say, listen, we have to build a franchise here. And what that means is that you have to convert this into a round the year business. Otherwise, you can't run on one cylinder and expect the engine to keep functioning well. And it's a two month project, which is IPL. I think following 83, following the success of 83, with the, it's been a huge success, I think, the film. So Bollywood are more and more inclined. There's no other popular, no game more popular than cricket in India or to Indians around the world. And anything related to cricket or anything connected with cricket will sell. The sort of glitz and the glamour of Bollywood combined with within the IPL and, and Indian cricket certainly you know, is again another reason why they go to another level um, and why it's so hard for anything to, in cricket around the world to compete with that. People used to ask me, don't you want to get so-and-so player, will be a big brand for you, etc. on the field. I said, I have the biggest brand behind me, you know. 
uh, gentleman called a Sarke and then Jui is there. So I said, why do we need players who need, we don't. So we've never consciously gone after any quote-unquote superstar. First year I was with Rajasthan coincided um, with, with probably the best cricket I've ever played in, in a period of time. Um, managed to score sort of five half centuries in a row and, and sort of sat here now. I know that feeling that I had with the bat in hand then. I, I, I don't feel like I've, I've played better um, in a period in my career and it's sort of led into probably the best year of cricket I've had and, and sort of Rajasthan again I come back to opportunity and, and chance gate you know obviously picked me up in the auction and then I got moved to open the batting um, in T20 cricket for, for them and um, sort of never looked back really from that point especially in, in my T20 career. Yeah I think you know the Rajasthan fans are as, as crazy as any of the fans in India I think the, the passion for for cricket and the loyalty that they show towards a franchise and, and to, um, to individuals who, who represent that franchise um, is, is amazing. And I feel like there's a nice affiliation with, in, with the fans, with guys who have then moved on from the team, you know, naturally in the IPL. Seems a real strong bond between the fans and people who've represented Rajasthan Royals and that's the same with you know the owners and and the the coaching staff you know sort of you see those moments after the game when you know on the field there's sort of both franchises all chatting together and you can see the guys who've played for Rajasthan before have a real tie with with some of the coaching staff and and some of the backroom staff. Having worked with SRK for now 12 years is brilliant I mean he's he just picks up on things like in no time and you don't have to really go through any great explanation and somehow is I always feel that sometimes he's almost a mind reader so you go in with your things to talk about and the first point that's on your mind he says yeah you know I was thinking about this and I said well, did you see my <laughs> notes or what <laughs> but he's so intuitive so it's it's uh, it's been terrific because they're extremely whatever the outside perception and the aura is around them which is rightly so because they're absolutely successful superstars you know, you know, I mean, that you will find, but I found everyone who is involved in that, SRK, Juhi, Jai, etc., extremely down to work. In the next 10 years, I see the game in India, you know, going from strength to strength even more. Um, obviously, this season coming, there's two new franchises um, entering the tournament. You know, there's so much depth and talent in, in the game uh, in India. So one thing I would, I would love to see, and I don't know if this would ever happen, is, is to see the superstars of the Indian game, both men and women, have a chance to play in other places. You know, to, so England, I think, needs some um, help, I guess, inspiring the next generations, you know, be it something like the 100, if, if there was you know, a couple of players. I know women have come and played in the, in the 100, but if, if some of the men could play as well, and we have such a um, diverse country, um, you know, a lot of British Asians who would, you know, just, who, as well, we need to be the lifeblood of cricket in England and, and coming through and, and I want to see those guys, you know, we have some great role models at the minute in Moeen Ali and Adil Rashid, um, you know, for those communities, but, you know, it would be great to have the, the Indian guys be able to play in, in our tournament and inspire the guys in our country as well. The IPL has gone through the roof already. It'll go through the sky now because the sky's the limit. When there is success, people are flocking to, to invest the money in it. So IPL has, has been huge, huge, huge. It's, it's such a huge monster. We went into LA and said, we're going to set up LA Knight Riders. It's a Bollywood meets Hollywood concept there. And we've just announced recently that uh, uh, we've been allotted land by the city council of LA, in Orange County in Great Park. And uh, so there'll be a Knight Rider arena at some point. It'll take time, maybe two years, maybe three years. But, you know, in the US, sports loving country, having lived there, once they take to it, you know, you will find that the systems and processes that are there, and the support structure that is there will allow you to build your business once they see the value of it. As a franchise, we have a long term view. Yes, we want to deliver returns in the short run, but you know, my message to the board is I'm going to deliver this, but I also have to deliver success for you in 15 years. 
and you know, I have to target you know, 8 to 15 year olds as well as the current 18 to 30 year olds. I think the more we all do that as franchises and, and broader, more broadly as the BCCI and, and IPL, the more exciting the growth of this league can become. When we invest anywhere, like in Barbados, you know, we're working actually to launch an academy around the time of the season. We've invested in South Africa. We're again looking at how we develop grassroots in that country, how we launch an academy in that country. It's not, it's not there just to sort of build this, this big portfolio, it's there to grow the game, grow grassroots cricket and you know, support the growth of this amazing sport. So I think that's exciting for the IPL because more talent's being developed that will then come and play in the IPL and lift the standard even more. So um, I think it's a positive all round. I think for the foreseeable future, it is unstoppable. There's so much more that can be done. Uh, for example, when someone asked me, oh, two more teams are being added to IPL, you know, can it support it? I said, what are you talking about? I mean, if you look at the state of Gujarat, what's it, 70 million people? larger than several countries, one state. And UP in Lucknow, I mean, you know, double that in terms of population. So the market is there, the passion is there, the economics of it is there. We just have to be careful not to take things for granted and make sure that we are, we are investing in the right things for the growth of this business. And it'll be, it'll be definitely unstoppable. India is really special to me. I think um, you know, I'd say it's had as, as big an influence on my cricket career as, as any. Um, I'd say the IPL has been the, the place I've learned the most about my game. I've learned a lot about myself as a person and you know, guys who, like you say, watch on the Maidans who don't have much. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. Um, but they have cricket and they have happiness. And that just you just think that is such a great thing to see every day that you know certain things I may be worrying about or or wanting you know, something that's materialistic or something that you think is going to give you happiness but actually you know you look out the window and you think oh, actually that's that's true happiness. Mm -hmm.